How to dye a fish with watercolors. Did you ever ask yourself how to dye a fish with watercolors? Today I show you a possible way how to do that. Being very precise, I show you how to dye a butterfly chiclet. Hello, I'm Cat Wild and I make creative stuff. So let's start with the sketch. What do you need for that? A pencil, no matter which brand, a lineal, a rubber, some washi tape and of course the watercolor paper. First I use the washi tape for fixing the paper on my table. Then I'm sketching with the lineal a horizontal help line. On the right end I do a vertical line. The back fin has the length of the fifth of the fish's body. So the vertical line helps us to fulfill the proportions under the middle help line. And now you can decide. Do you want to draw the shape of the fish freely without any help and you didn't want to wait anymore for my explanation? So try to draw an oval shape over and under the help line in the middle. If you think, no, I am a beginner, I need more help, cat, then let's put some help points on the paper for sketching the fish. So put the points there where are the biggest size of your fish. And because the fish is a little bit more square, I used a second help point over and under the help line. You can also put two help points on the paper for the end of the back fin. Then sketch the body of the fish. For the mouth, you draw a little U. Now you have your fish body. Then sketch the fin. As a next step, you sketch the fins under the body and on the top of the body. When you draw the fin above the body, imagine that you draw a punk hairstyle in a cartoony way. So the sketch is done. Now you can take the rubber and erase your sketch carefully. You only should have an idea of the sketch after that. It's coloring time. For coloring, you need some brushes. I for myself prefer thin brushes, but it also depends how big you want to draw the fish. Because I had a very small paper, I used thin brushes. Additionally, you need some water and watercolors of your choice. And a color palette for mixing colors. Then I draw the first layer of the fish. For that I use a light orange. With that color I fill the whole body. Then I use red for the fins. Yellow I use for the back parts of the body and the fins above the head. I blend the colors together with only using some water. Take your time, you can do that as long as you are happy with the background layer of the fish. For the fin and background I use a grey to make clear that this is the fin of the other side. Black for the first fins above the head and for some black parts. Then I let everything dry. You can use the time to drink a tea, read a book or clean your room. After drying it's time for details. First I draw a wet circle for the eye. With a dark red I draw wet lines on the back thin and thins under the body. I use white for drawing lines on every thin of the fish. Then I draw the black pupil. As a next step I will use a brush for putting dots on the fish. With that technique I create the scale structure of the fish. I used a shiny blue for that but you can use your preferred color for the step. For the background I'm wetting everything, then I use different shades of blue and blend them together. As a special effect I use some salt to give the background a bubble structure, letting everything dry and this is the finished fish. I hope you are happy with your fish and if not always remember practice is the key one day you will achieve your goals and if you have any additional question comment it below thank you for watching stay creative and I see you next time bye